India is working on its jet engine called Kaveri for the past 30 years. What's the status of the jet engine development in India? Without jet engine, India cannot be a superpower in the aviation field. You are right. Without a jet engine of its own, India cannot be a superpower or any kind of power in the aviation field. It will always have to acquire jet engines from other countries. So this Kaveri jet engine has been in development, like you said, for the past 30 or so years. As of today, it is still not successful, right? It's not still uh, achieved its objectives. I have heard that recently the French, uh, the French firm Snecma was believed to have offered a transfer of technology to make this uh, coverage jet engine work as part of the offsets in the Rafale deal. I don't know what's happened with it. There is no... Uh, there's no new news that's come out of this project. So it seems to be in the doldrums. Sometimes no news is good news. Sometimes if you're making progress, you should, you should keep quiet about it. Sometimes even if you have succeeded, you should not announce it. I agree. I understand that. But I don't know. I mean, there's been no news about this project. It seems to be as far as we can tell at the same level. We have we seem to have made no breakthroughs thus far. And the, the truth is that developing jet engines is very difficult. You know, jet engines, the thing is, India has very good jet, I mean, uh, rocket engines, right? We have a number of very successful, very reliable rocket engines. We have a number of missiles which use solid fuel rockets. We have the, the PSLV and the GSLV, various iterations of these rockets, which use very powerful Vikas engines and whatnot. These are liquid fueled engines. In the case of jet turbines, it's a very different technology. The thing is that you need to be extremely adept at materials science in order to build a good, reliable jet engine. Because the temperatures inside the jet engine, which basically impinge upon the turbine, they are in the thousands of degrees Celsius. So you need to be able to develop very specific materials that can withstand such incredibly high temperatures for a very long time, for thousands of hours, right? So that is the challenge in developing a jet engine. You can always design a jet en engine that can work. You can do it on co in the computer uh, programs and all, and you can test it out. But the material has to be able to withstand those temperatures. And that is the challenge. You have to develop these jet engine blades out of a single crystal of metal. So that's usually what happens in the West. That's, that's how they have succeeded in uh, building reliable jet engines. And that's where India has been struggling thus far. I don't know where the progress uh, has reached. As, as far as we know, there's been no new announcement about any, any progress in this matter. So I agree that India needs to, to develop a number of jet engines for various aircraft. It cannot keep relying on Rolls-Royce engines or various other uh, General Electric engines for its, its aircraft. India needs to develop its own jet engines. The Russians have done it. The Chinese seem to have almost succeeded now in developing their own jet engines. India needs to take this very seriously and have its own reliable, proven jet engines in the next 5 to 10 years maximum. So this is something that needs to happen. It needs to be taken up on an urgent basis.